Look at this, this is so beautiful. I just wonder, you know what I wonder about? I wonder if they knew that the movie was going to be a classic. Hi, uh, I'm Celine Song, and I'm here at the Margaret Herrick Library for the Academy of Motion Pictures. And I'm here to talk about the movies and scenes that inspired past lives. My film is about two sweethearts who reconnect many years later in New York City. And it's a love story that spans many decades and continents. What about us? We'll always have Paris. So this oh. is a press book for Casablanca. The library has almost 9,000 production files with press books. Amazing. Oh, I love that. Never anything more timely than Warner Brothers. This is so cool. Well, I think that, you know, the, the ending of the film, where I think that it's really about uh, letting go of something, letting go of somebody that you love, and because you're recognizing that uh, this person is going to be better loved elsewhere in a different way, that kind of an amazing giving nature of love and that kind of completely, almost a selfless way of loving someone, kind of love where you give it without wanting anything back. I think that I was thinking about Casablanca as I was writing the ending of Past Lives, when anybody was sort of asking questions about the ending that is so, in a conventional sense, sad, that is not about the two lovers getting together, but it's about saying goodbye to each other. Usually the reference point that I could point to that convinced everybody to come on board with the way that this movie ends is Casablanca is the force that is not a person, and it's usually history. And I think similarly, what's happening in past lives is that for Nora and Hesong, who are the two lovers in that situation, are torn apart by time and location and how different they have become. And there's an amazing line, of course, you know, they will always have Paris. The truth is, like, Hesong and Nora are saying to each other, we'll always have Seoul. Humphrey Bogart is having a monologue in his bar, and he says that, you know, of all the places, I can't believe she walked into this one of all the gin joints in all the towns in all the world. But that is a feeling that is really connected to the concept of inyan, which is part of our past lives. And it's about how just by being in the same room at the same time, you are actually connected by a cosmic bond. And what this also implies is that for many, many lifetimes, we knew each other then. So that's their belief, belief that there's no such thing as a coincidence when it comes to connections. I will cherish my visit here in memory as long as I live. We have the William Wyler papers, and he was the director, of course. <gasps> and then we have the Paramount Pictures production so records cool. and um, Gregory Peck's <gasps> papers. I think it's so fully about the ending. Gregory Peck is walking away down that amazing hallway. It's this beautiful, epic hallway, and he just walks. When the character of Nora in my film, when she walks home crying, there is a conversation that I'm having with Greta about like, what is the feeling? Roman Holiday is the movie that I sent my actress to watch to talk about what those tears are. Part of it is the relief. Part of it is knowing that this goodbye is for real. This relief is also continued in the very final shot of Past Lives, where Hesong is being driven away to JFK. And his performance is, of course, also informed by Gregory Peck's walking away. The way that uh, the world is, is going to be the thing that tears them apart. When the, what just happened in Gregory Peck, when they shake hands as one of the journalists, it's like, well, if you just were seeing that scene, you would never know what's going on between the two of them. But we hold a secret as the audience member with what's going on with the two of them. And to me, past lives is all about that secret. So when the whole past lives opens, the first scene is the three characters, Nora, Hesung, and Arthur, sitting in a room. And the movie asks the audience to guess who these three people are to each other. Over the film, you see that from childhood, the time goes linearly, and we get to see who they are actually to each other. And by the time that they're back at the very same scene in the bar near the end of the film, you're then able to answer the question, who are they to each other? <laughs> 남편 소개시켜줘서 고마워. 우리 진짜 사랑하는 것 같아. And what a beautiful thing. And that's what I was thinking about when it comes to Roman Holiday. This princess is an average girl. It's an impossibility. But when you meet Audrey Hepburn, I completely understand. Because you are completely a princess and you're completely relatable somehow. And you're like, well, you solve the main contradiction of this movie. And therefore, you're going to be the engine of this movie. And this is how I felt about my actors. Greta Lee and Teo Yu, something that I really was looking for is the contradiction that this person who's a grown-up, who's almost 40, is both a 12-year-old and a full grown-up. 
And those two things have to coexist in my actors because that's what the movie's about. I feel so connected to these two films and I know that when I think about past lives as a movie, to me it is really in the lineage of these films because it is meant to be a great love story that is so specific to the time and space that these stories happen. And instead of uh, the lover saying like, I'm so upset about this, what they're able to say is like, we'll always have Paris. Um, we'll be okay, and I have loved you, and I still love you on some level, um, but goodbye.